Alongside the programs we run for youth, we run parallel programs for educators from across the Middle East and South Asia and U.S. We've been giving out small grants to educators to support them in, the, in their projects after they go home. And we felt that we could do more for them by bringing them together in a more sustained way. So out of those small grants has grown a new program called the New Visions for Peace Fellowship. We're supporting 16 educators from the Middle East, South Asia, and the U.S. this year. And we convene them for five days in Cyprus to uh, enable them to really share their, their work with each other to be able to uh, gain best practices. And so that they could get support from one another and plan the next year. I thought about how to design and implement a series of activities in my school for uh, my uh, students that uh, represent the human concepts such as uh, justice, uh, uh, peace, uh, accepting the others. The focus of this project is looking at history education but uh, focusing on borders and boundaries um, and the issue of partition and just creating a website um, of all the different resources that educators can use. My goal really is with the help of Seeds of Peace to make this uh, dream come true of having some sort of moving art workshop that travels around the region. What I thought of was teaching conflict-related or culture-related material through English as a second language or English as a foreign language to students in the Palestine-Israel region. And the reason I thought of that basically is because through language you can teach anything. I'm planning a program where Arabs and Jews can meet on a regular basis, do all kinds of activities all year long. I think your story is the heart mm -hmm. of this. Mm -hmm. And I think... We are committed to working with them and following up with them regularly and helping to support the connections among them to realize some of their dreams as educators, as artists, as people working for positive change in the world.